Man, we really should be more like them so that we can perform better. Let them go. Oh, I will. As soon as Marty agrees to work with us. What do you want from me? It's quite simple. Do what your silly grandmother would not. Wear the amulet. Use the Cromwell gift. You mean turn all those inferior creatures into slaves so the Dominion can rule Halloween Town? You make things sound so sinister, Marty. We'll bring order to this place. Together we'll use the power to make things run much more smoothly. It will all be so much easier for everyone when the Dominion is in charge. And you want me to be your queen? Only for one night. One night? Tonight at the celebration, you'll use the gift to cast a spell, establishing the rule of the Dominion over Halloween Town. A spell which will, of course, become permanent at the stroke of midnight. After that, we won't need you anymore. Well, I won't do it. You insolent girl. Do you want your brother to lap water from a toilet for the rest of his life? All we have to do is keep him that way until midnight, and he will be in the doghouse. Permanently. I realize that you've always been an outcast. It's not everyone at school who likes to think. Do I disturb that like you? I've had one or maybe two. But the good ones disappear before I think. Now I understand you have your reservations. It's hard to have a brain as large as yours. But if we don't win these games, well, I think I've made it plain. What will happen if we have the losing score? Unleash the magic. Unleash the magic.
girl's only queen for a night once. I want my best friend Anissa to be my royal dresser. I will hang out in her room, do my hair, and I'll wear a dress so I can act the part. It is my wish. Absolutely, my queen. Absolutely. Ethan, make sure Dilda's in the courtyard before midnight. We'll be there. Beat me up, Jeannie.